god, oh my god! Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. My name is GBay99. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. So I just woke up about an hour ago and found out that the Hextech crafting system went live on the North American servers. I don't know about you guys, but I had a really hard time understanding it from what Riot was like putting out in their official press releases about what this system is gonna be. But basically, as is my understanding, it's an unboxing system, just like the things we see in FIFA with packs, just like we see in CSGO with crates, just like we see in Call of Duty with crates, just like we see in Hearthstone with card packs, kind of, I guess, even maybe. But a lot of other games have already done similar things and I'm assuming that this is sort of League of Legends version of that and I'm kind of curious about how it's going to end up working so that's what we're going to do today we're going to take a look at how this is supposed to work if you log on to League of Legends you will be greeted with this message Hextech crafting earn content by playing it says you can earn chests and keys find keys from match made games earn chests when anyone in your pre-made party ranks S up to four times per month but only one per champion per season okay that kind of sounds a little confusing Confusing, but this sounds like another thing that Riot is pushing the playing with friends trying to shun everyone into having friends Earn chests when anyone in your pre-made party gets an S rank So people that play with five friends or four friends in a group of five will have a much easier time getting chests than people that just want to solo queue uh, I, I don't know how much I like that I, I kind of feel like Riot hates me for not having friends right now or for wanting to play League of Legends on my own I should say I have some friends Open chests to find shards of champion skins, ward skins, and more. So it sounds like pretty much every kind of content that's unlockable in League of Legends you can unlock through these chests. And craft rewards. Upgrade shards to unlock content, redeem them for a trial period, or re-roll them into other loot. So again, that sounds kind of confusing. I'm not too sure how Riot's system is actually going to work here, but I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's go ahead and open our free chest. All right, so it looks like this is the interface that we have for the crafting system. Uh, I'm guessing this is under this tab in the top right-hand corner, loot and crafting inventory. We have one chest, we have one key. Let's go ahead and open it. Got a nice fancy animation and everything. Let's see what we get. And... Pentakill Olaf, skin shard, add to loot. Okay, so what does this mean? Oh, we get more stuff. Firecracker Ward, Ward Skin Shard, add to loot. Okay. Do we get anything else? 800 Orange Essence. We'll figure out what that's for in a second. You just opened a special chest with extra loot to try out the system. That includes a Skin Shard and a Ward Skin Shard. Okay, so you don't normally get that much stuff. Okay, so it looks like when you get one of these shards or whatever, you can do a few things with it. Upgrading the skin to have it be a permanent skin costs however much essence. You can activate for rental for seven days. So you can have the skin free for seven days, but then uh, you lose it, and I'm guessing you lose whatever the shard thing is. You can disenchant it into essence, sort of like Hearthstone, I'm assuming, and you can re-roll into random skin permanent. So if I re-roll this, do, do I get the skin that this is without spending essence? Let's try that. So this looks like that stupid rune crafting system that Riot had. I don't know if they still have it where you could combine runes and it was never worth it to actually combine runes. You know what? I kind of like this ward. Let's go ahead and unlock it, upgrade, and there we go. We get a new ward. All right, so this is another thing that it takes RP to buy. Uh, okay, I, I should have figured. So it, it looks like here you can get 10 hex tech chests and keys for 1950 RP, you can buy individual keys, individual chests, you can buy a chest and key one at a time, uh, you can buy five chests and keys at a time, and uh, looks like you get a little essence there or something, but... Okay, that, that makes more sense. So I've added some RP to my account because I am a little bit curious. I want to see what these chests will normally give you, and we're going to go ahead and test that a little bit. First YouTube chest unboxing whatever thing. Chest number one, we get full Metal Jace skin shard. And is that it? Okay, so normally you get one thing, one skin shard, or one ward, or one... I think you can also get summoner icons, Bird of Prey and Nevia skin shard. Okay, so I'm, I'm assuming that the skins that are worth like a lot of money, like uh, legendary skins or whatever, are a lot more rare to get skin shards from. All right, so we get four skin shards and a champion shard, which is kind of dumb. I mean, I already own Fizz and... Uh, that doesn't feel like it makes that much sense. The thing I found so interesting about this system when Riot first announced it was there are already so many games that sort of prey on that inner gambling addict that we all have in us. Like, 
gambling can be fun. It can be a fun little thing to do recreationally. And there's already so many games that sort of take advantage of that little piece of young people's mind where you have games like CSGO. CSGO is a perfect example. You can buy crates to sort of gamble on whether you'll get a good skin or a knife or something. And then you can also bet those skins and knives on matches. You can also throw them in those big roulette wheels or whatever it is that they do. Yeah, these things where, again, it's even more gambling. I was kind of curious about how Riot would plan on introducing their own little version of that, and I'm not too sure how much I like it. One of the reasons that opening packs is so exciting on FIFA is because you always have a small chance of getting something incredible, right? I mean, you could get a Messi or a Ronaldo or Neymar, or like depending on the time of year, you could get a team of the season or a really good inform or a legend. And on top of that, you could get something a little more realistic, right? Like Di Maria or someone, someone that's worth a lot. It's kind of good. I don't know how much I like Riot's little Hextech crafting system because it doesn't really feel like that same sort of excitement. You don't have a chance at getting some incredible thing that it, only a small portion of people will ever own. It seems like just another way to unlock all the content that you could already buy with RP. I think this would actually probably be a pretty cool system if they used IP instead of RP. Like, if I could get rid of this stupid IP that I've been saving up forever, then that would be pretty nice, right? I guess it's okay that you can get some stuff that you already own, like champions you already own or skins you already own, but I mean, that on top of the fact that it doesn't really feel like it's that special when you get it, I don't know. I'm not too sure how much I like this system, and I don't know how much it will succeed. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Sorry that this is not Road to Diamond. Our Road to Diamond episode will be coming out tonight or like early tomorrow. Kind of depends where you live in the world and what time you're watching this video, but next episode of Road to Diamond will be really, really soon. Feel free to leave your own comments in the comments down below on whether or not you think this is a good system or something that you're going to bother with at all, or if you want a skin, if you're just going to go to the store and buy a skin. Maybe Riot will eventually introduce something special about getting a skin that you unlock through this system compared to just a skin that you unlock through the store. Like some sort of fancy border or something that goes along with it. Anyway though, next video, next episode of Road to Diamond will be out tonight. I will see you all then. But until then, thank you very much for watching. Good luck in solo queue and have a wonderful day.